Roller latches. Accurate makes a whole bunch of roller latches. Um, oops, sorry. We have a, a 9100 series. I've got a narrow back set 8800 series. I've got a 9800 and a 9500 series roller latch interior. So, uh, real quick. So, this is the family of roller latches we have. You have the 9100. You have basically four functions. 22 means double cylinder. A 25 is passage. A 24 is entry. So it's basically cylinder outside, turnpiece inside, and a privacy. Obviously, turnpiece inside and a coin return or emergency coin release on the outside. On the uh, the smaller ones, we've got uh, non-cylinder functions. So just passage 25 and just privacy 39. So roller latches, 3 8 inch projection. Let me show you how they work. So normally these are going to be used on doors where you don't have active lever trim. I'll give you one crazy example. In uh, Montana, in certain areas of the mountains, they're not allowed to have active, uh, building code, sorry, doesn't allow active trim on entrance doors because of bears. Believe it or not, bears learned how to use lever trim to get into a house. So this is a great lock to use. Um, that's a crazy example, but there's, there's other examples. So you can put a cylinder in here, and you can put a turn piece in, and you can see how it works, right? It's just a, it's a 3 8 inch projection roller latch, right? And so the door basically, the latch, uh, you know, it, it snaps into this detent in the strike, right? So it holds it in, sorry. Holds it in place like that, right? The detent and the roller latch. And then the deadbolt creates your security or your privacy. Um, so this happens. So if I did an emergency coin ret return on the outside, this would be a privacy function. If I did double cylinder, cylinder on the outside, cylinder inside, it'd be a 22 function, which is basically a, a double cylinder entry function. Um, and then, of course, Without the deadbolt, you just do passage. So a lot of times passage will be used on interior doors, uh, typically two and a quarter inch thick doors, large doors, heavy doors. You'll use the 9100 series roller latch. This roller latch is spring-loaded, okay? And basically there's no lever trim. So you see how there's no hubs? See no hubs? Just put my fingers in there, okay? There is a function where if you wanted to, we could put rigid hubs in there so you could put dummy trim on, right? So just basically levers that pull the door, but there's no active trim. The only thing, so you just, as this snaps in place, you pull or push the door open. You don't need to retract this because it's going to slide, the, that wheel is going to slide off that detent and allow you to, to uh, close and open the door. So it sort of snaps into place, holds it into place so that wind doesn't blow it open or when you open another door to the home and you have air pressure changes, HVAC issues, the door won't pop open, right? So this is to, to close the door and hold it shut. This is for security. The 8800 series, this is our narrow back set version. So uh, one and a half up to two and a quarter inch back sets. And you'll see the same idea, same roller latch. Uh, this happens to be white nylon. The 9100 was black. Same, same, same difference. Uh, there's the deadbolt, and then this is the strike for the 8800. So you'll see that the detent is here, and the deadbolt goes in there, right? So this is the, you see the difference in strikes. This would be the 9100 series. This would be the 8800 series. Okay, same functions. You got double cylinder, which is a 22. You've got passage, no deadbolt, which is a 25. You've got cylinder by turn piece, which would make it a 24. Um, and then a privacy 39 function would be a coin release out on the outside, turn piece inside, okay? So same idea as the 9100, right? So 9100, 8800, roller latch. Again, same 3 8 inch projection. Um, then we move into the interior set. So again, you may have some, some decorative pulls on doors. You may even have flush pulls, uh, some Harman hinge situations. These would be ideal so that, you know, a door opens into a, kind of recedes into a pocket. So it's flush with the wall. 
Sometimes we'll put a roller latch on there to keep the door uh, fastened inside the, the pocket or the recess in the wall. So same idea. This is a um, this happens to be our 9800 roller latch. Uh, it's a privacy set. Um, sorry, it goes like this. And there's a turn piece up here. So basically, that's for privacy. Okay, so the door, I don't have a strike to show you, but it's similar. So this is another roller latch. Again, 3 8 inch projection. And this would be for privacy. Without the deadbolt, it would be a passage set. And then we have a 9500 series uh, roller latch. So 9500 RL. Um, so again, this is a privacy set as well. Uh, without the deadbolt, it would be a passage set. So again, these are for doors where you want to put decorative pulls on them. There's no active levers. There's none of that. Um, uh, again, it's for doors that, that um, there's no trim, there's no knobs. So if there's no lever trim, there's knobs. Uh, it's more for decorative style pulls. Um, they're not touch latches. They just they, they slide and close. And this, again, is spring-loaded. And you can see i got to push fairly hard. To, to keep that to, to retract that latch so to review there's four main products there's a 9100 so that's for door styles four inches and up because the minimum back set on this would be two and a half inches um, the 8800 can go down to one and a quarter inch back set so that puts it like I don't know three inch style uh, maybe slightly less than that but I wouldn't push it and then these are for interior. This is the 9800 series, which is slightly larger in size than the 9500 series. Okay? So those are the roll latches. One thing we do to these strikes, if you have excessive wind loads, we've done a few projects where these are very large entry doors and there is some, some heavy winds and they don't want to throw the deadbolt to lock the door, that we will actually... Um, if you see this detent, what we'll do is we'll actually we'll cut a hole in it where I, where I marked it with my marker. We'll actually cut that material away. And what happens is the, 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 the roller will actually seat. Uh, it's hard to see, but, but it'll seat down into that cutout a little bit more than it would if it was just a detent and that locks it in a little bit more uh, firmly so it requires a little extra effort to push or pull the door open but but that's what we recommend for doors that may pop open due to uh, wind loading the other thing we we recommend sometimes is if it's um, if it's a if it's a large door is you would put one of these passage sets down lower, say the, the bottom third of the door, and then this would be installed with the deadbolt uh, at, at a normal height as, as a regular motorcycle would go. And that gives you two roller latches, which gives you a lot more holding power, all right? So there's different ways to, to accomplish uh, holding a door <clears throat> fastened in place, and then, then you can secure it with deadbolts. Okay, so that's the 90... Uh, 100 series and uh, 8800 series uh, roller latches, and then we have the interior mortise, mortise roller latches. Um, um, that's it.